What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. And today we have a very, very awesome episode. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff laid out in front of me. You probably even can't see it all, but we have our drill here. We have some lights, we have drill bits, we have Thresh's lantern, soldering iron, a ton of things. As you can probably guess from all the images here, well, from all the things here, we're going to be trying our first attempt at putting some lights into a 3D printed item. Here I have Thresh's lantern. It's in pieces at the moment. I have not glued it together. Hot off the printer, as you guys can see. Actually, let's pick it up and bring it back here. It's gonna be one of the items on sale in my Etsy store. And as you can guys can see it, there it is right there. We are going to be adding lights to it. We have the lock and key that goes with it. So all the items we're gonna need are right here. Let's just go ahead and jump into it, dive into it, not waste any more time because I'm super excited. So let's check out how to add LED lights to your 3D printed cosplay item. <laughs> All right, so again, I said we are going to be putting an LED light into Thresh's Lancer today. A few items you're gonna need if you do want to do anything like this, of course, is a soldering iron. I got a pack of um, battery holders just like with wires with an on and off switch. So basically just a switch that holds the battery. Of course, the batteries, I will link all of these items for you guys. A bit of extra, uh, it's just solder. I guess just, you know, metal solder. We need our lights, of course. I have a 200 pack here that comes from red all the way to blue. And we're gonna need our 3D printed item, helping hand drill a few of these items. So the very first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is take off the top part of Thresh's lantern here. And then we're going to move on to the base. The base is where I'm gonna be putting the light and I need to go ahead and drill a hole to get it to fit there. So I'm gonna drill a hole straight to the bottom that will allow me to run the wires to it, put the light in place, and then move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's just go ahead and glue these two pieces together. We're going to use liquid gel because we don't really care where it goes right now. And I probably should, well, let's see if there's any left in here, just a little bit. So I'm gonna have to end up getting some more. Actually, no, it's enough to get through that put this on there like so and let that dry for a second Now that we have our hole, you can see the wires will fit through it. And where did our LED light go? Let's see, up oh, here it is. LED light is right here. Will it fit? It will not fit through the hole. So we have to make the hole a little bit bigger. So now that we know the LED for sure fits into the base, we're gonna go ahead and get this soldered up. Here I have a helping hand station, which is basically what the name implies, a helping hand. So it's gonna help me get everything lined up. Actually, I can do it this way so you guys can see. We're gonna turn this over, turn that over, flip this around, and we'll leave it like that. Here we have our switch that's gonna to connect to the battery. We're gonna solder this piece to that piece. But first, we're gonna use a few shrink wraps to make it not so messy, essentially. All right, so we have our two pieces of shrink wrap here. We're going to put one on one end of the light. If I can get it through, make sure it's big enough. Yep. 
goes through and one in on the other part of the switch like so boom then we're going to use our helping hand station to grab one end and just have them go together like so and then we're going to solder them together it the wire is up and over it we're gonna then use a little bit of fire to conform it to the wire all right guys so I made one mistake I forgot to check my LED light before I actually hooked it up to the battery to make sure that it works because every now and then you do get duds so let me show you how you do that real quick. Uh, we're gonna just grab an extra battery out of here. Pop it out like so. Then we just take our LED and literally connect it to the battery, like terminal to terminal in. Now you can see this one is a dud, so that's no good. We wanna do that before we actually connect the item to the wire. All right, and there we have it, one that does in fact work. So definitely test out your light before you wire it up. Now that we have this wired up, we know that it works, hit the on switch, boom, we get a green light. Let's jump back over, let's move this out the way first. Move the solder out the way, view out the way, so you guys have a clear view. Back over to our cosplay. So we're gonna take our Clear this off a little bit. A little bit of extra plastic there. All right, take our wire, run it up the bottom here. Trying to be kind of gentle as I do it, not just force it right up in there. All right, and it's up in there like so. Hit our switch again, make sure it's still working, and it is, so we're good. I'm gonna just bend that over to the side a little bit. Now, put on that piece, put on this piece, and let's see how it looks. It's glowing. So, we're gonna go ahead and assemble the rest. about mm, five or minutes or so. As you can see, this is all glued together. We're good to go here. Now all we have left is the lock and key. The key ring has a little slit in it, so you can just bend it a little bit out of shape to get it to go around the lock, like so, without hopefully breaking it. There we go. That's in there, and then, once again, bend a little bit, and boom. Now we have our glow in the dark. Well, boom, glow in the dark, Thresh Lantern. All right, so here is Thresh's Lantern. As you can see, glowing in the dark. It looks awesome, just needs to be painted and maybe, you know, 
primed, all that good stuff. But overall, it's done. Go ahead and spin it around for you guys so you can see from all angles. That's what it looks like in the dark. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed checking out Thresh's Lantern here along with me, along with how to put LED lights into your 3D printed cosplay objects. I will have a link for all of the items that I use in this episode below, the solder, the batteries, the wire, uh, everything. And again, you can find this 3D print in my um, Etsy store. You guys can get it right now. Uh, I highly recommend it. I love it. It will look great once it's painted and it looks even better with the lights glowing. So definitely check it out. I will have a link to my Etsy store below. As always, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you did like the episode, please leave a comment below as it does help the channel. And always remember until next time, stay boundless. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>